Shocking news as Airbnb owners are now going Airbnb broke. Hey everybody, Scott Walters, buckle up, strap in. We got a hard hitting, pull no punches, no sugarcoating it, no rainbows, no sunshine. I'm just going to give it to you and give it to you straight. We got a good one to unpack today. Welcome to the show. I hope you're all doing great. Whew. Airbnb, welcome to the swimming pool. Let's tackle Airbnb today, shall we? We should, I think. Here's the thing, friends. We have a shockingly, that's what happened. One of the byproducts or things that happened that caused this bubble was the lack of supply, right? It was lockdowns. People didn't want to come to market. It was lockdown time. We had limited inventory and then the low interest rate environment ushered in FOMO. Upward pressure to overnight appreciation to never seen before highs in a short two year period of time. Those are the waters we're swimming in. Well, one of the byproducts of the housing bubble and the euphoria, this produced a lot of new asset bubbles. One of them being Airbnb. They didn't get euphoric in the last bubble. We have a lot of new players in town with this bubble. And that's not good because you see, that's just more blowback that's going to occur in this one. In my opinion, no, I could be wrong. Nobody has the crystal ball. Anybody tell you, and I know there was plenty of them uh, out there when the euphoria was going on. What were they telling you? I see it. Those channels, they're now dying. I've barely been able to post as much anymore. I have a hard time continuing on to come to you guys, but I feel a civic duty to do that. What were they telling you? Not this channel, though. You know that. What were they telling you? No, what? No crash risk here is what they were telling you. And what are we looking at now? A bunch of crash risk. And who drank the Kool-Aid besides the majority of Americans? Americans that went out and speculated and got into these speculative asset bubbles with Airbnb pouring in, buying Airbnb properties, speculative earnings, forecasted earnings that are no longer there. Their low interest rate, remember I used to say, your low interest rate won't save you. Throw the playbook out the window. The data won't save you. No, Scott, those are the golden handcuffs they're calling it out there with these low interest rates. These people are going to hang on to that. No, they're not. Why? Because their house doesn't pencil out. It can't keep up with its cost. Even if your mortgage is above its rent range, doesn't matter if you have 0% interest, you're done. Over, buckle up and strap in because we're gonna break down a few more numbers for you to let you understand how, how significant this is. Five and a half million, five and a half million Airbnbs out there my, right now, my friends, and they're getting the ultimate rug pull. I don't know if you've heard, it's not looking good. People are now blocking them from having the Airbnbs in, the, in these neighborhoods. Hotels clearly don't want them there. It's all going sideways, but it gets better or worse if you're an Airbnb owner. If you bought that house, well, honey, Jim and Jane at the, uh, at the office, Joe and his wife, Jane, they bought an Airbnb. They're making all kinds of money. These people are blowing off all kinds of steam from the crisis. They got all this money to spend. They're, they're cashing in. They're doing better with their Airbnb than they are. They quit their job. They quit their job. They're doing so good with their Airbnb that they were able to quit their job. Uh-oh, that doesn't sound good. But wait, here's what I, I want to break it down again. It gets better or worse again. Insanity, this stuff. How many listings do we currently have in America? Around a million. Around a million active listings. What's the historical norm for listings? Around two. So we're about 50% of a normal inventory environment. That's what caused part of the cause of the bubble. Lack of inventory, right? It's all changing though, right? It's all changing. And it's about to, fl the floodgates are about to open. In 2008, it was the same writing on the wall. And then at some point, the floodgates open. This one's knocking at the door. At some point, the floodgates open. Now, all areas are going to behave different. Real estate's local, but contagion is not. Contagion's because we see Airbnb owners are going to start dumping their properties, some because they want to, some because they have to, some because they see the writing on the wall. If you don't see the writing on the wall, you're suffering from greed. Be greedy when others are fearful. Fearful when others are greedy. Greed's going to, or fear's going to sweep these market friends. Buckle up and make sure you're counting your pennies right now because you need to deploy it at some point. If not right now, get with an agent and start testing sellers with offers. This is what we're going to see virtually overnight. Airbnb is being restricted. Vacation rentals are being restricted. You don't want a hotel next to you in your residential neighborhood and neither do I. They're done. That's going to change. It's like 
Uber Eats during the crisis, euphoria. It's over for Uber Eats. Airbnb is very similar to that, friends. It was another euphoric market courtesy of a stimulus era. That is the only thing we saw. So if we have five and a half million Airbnb owners out there, how many would, how much would it take to actually get to market to make this market all of a sudden spike in inventory to the point it was pre-pandemic levels? Averages, normal averages. Not many. Not many at all. A million. And that's shadow inventory. And I'm not even scratching the surface of the shadow inventory these builders are sending on. And these builders, I mean, that's a great video. If you get a chance, subscribe, hit the bell icon, because I'm going to tackle these builders. The builders are really exposed because they all were built in the height of a real estate bubble. So everybody that piled into those homes bought when? In the height of a real estate bubble. They're all bubble buyers. And all these developments first start with a model home for you to tour and fall in love with furnishings and finishes. And then they stick you in the back 40 and all your neighbors bought at the height too. They're the first places to get hit in a downturn. Those are the foreclosure festival factories every time. But what I'm seeing right now is a contraction for the vacation rental market. I'm seeing a contraction everywhere and I know you are too. Unless you've lived through a downturn before as a bill paying adult, not as a college can studying, no. Unless you're a bill paying adult and suffered some of the blowback, you're hearing this stuff, you might even be reporting on it, but you have no idea what's coming or what potentially what you're talking about in terms of what it's potentially gonna deliver. And I think that's why this channel's audience appreciates this because I'm a grown man who's seen this movie before. And final thoughts I come to you as a friend, as a content creator, somebody wants to see you not only win in real estate, win in life. Understand the waters you're swimming in now. They're shark infested friends, Airbnb, Welcome to the swimming pool. You're not alone. Anybody that poured into the real estate market with speculative vacation style rents forecasted, those are going away. Even ones that can operate as vacation rentals now are seeing a reduction in bookings. It is the writing on the wall. We only need 1 million properties to skyrocket our inventory to historical norms and that would be enough needed to cascade this one as it's already running on fumes and exhibiting crash behavior. My advice, and I never do suggest anything that I'm not doing or willing to do myself, insulate yourself. It's better to have a plan and not need it than to need a plan and not have it. Unfortunately, a lot of these vacation rental property owners didn't have a backup plan. They can no longer carry these properties. Their rents won't support their payment, even if they had a 0% interest rate, much less a three or a four. Their interest rates are not going to save this one, my friends. Those are not golden handcuffs. They're just handcuffs. And I'm going to be here to blow the lid off it every step of the way. Because it's not only what we need, it's in fact what we deserve. Appreciate the content. I want to humbly ask you to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Social media links in the description of this video if you'd like to follow me there. Along with links to channels I've appeared on, I think you might enjoy. If you need help buying or selling real estate here in America, the biggest network of top-rated agents in the nation ready to assist you, it would be our honor and our privilege to do so. Email in the description for you as well. Also, if you're watching from your television set today and you enjoyed this video, you're going to love the next video. And there's an easy subscribe icon for your convenience. As always, thank you for your time. Please go make it count today. God bless. I'll see you on the next video.